So now we are moving to Bisla waterfall or we can say it is one of the famous waterfall in Sakleshpura. So we are moving on to that place and as you can see it's a bit foggy, it's due to rainy. So currently it stopped raining but it will rain soon. So we are moving on to our next destination, it's waterfall. So we have reached to the entrance of the waterfall and this is the warning board as you can see. And the warnings what is mentioned like alcohol is banned and entering into water is strictly prohibited so we shouldn't enter water because it's very risky and danger and we shouldn't litter anything anyways as you can see the glimpse of the waterfall and the way where it flows so this is the waterfall so we are going near to the waterfall not exactly we are entering it but we are going near to it so we need to go down and down in these steps so there are so many steps and also for the safety there are handrails also so that no one can fall onto the other side so as you can see the waterfall starts from here and ends to the other side it won't end either way wow how beautiful it is to watch see the flow of water so beautiful the scenery is also very beautiful that is the beauty of the nature as you can see we have walked a lot but still there is a lot of way to go because we have we are a bit near to the waterfall but not that close and still there is long way to go and as you can see there are so many people in the lower steps so by that itself we can predict how long it would be and you can see the other side of the waterfall where the water flows so as you can see this is the way to the waterfall so these are the steps and it was raining earlier so the steps are a bit slippery so you should be careful while walking on the steps and if we run or move faster on the steps so it may lead to a fatal damage and we also may fall onto the other side so we should be careful while walking on this path So we can see the waterfall clearly now as you can see so we are almost down near to the waterfall but still we are way back to reach it let's move on watching this so you can see the water how it flows and where it is going I think 
some people are trying to get in the water that's why the guards are whistling giving warning that not to enter the water because it's very risky to go into the water and the pressure is so high that's why it's very risky and if you fall then it is not possible to save them I think this area is a danger zone that's why they have applied some metal fence so that the people cannot go to the other side and if anyone go it will be very difficult for them to get rescued that's why they might be provided these fences we have reached the waterfall almost near to the waterfall I can't use my mobile more far because uh, it may spoil my mobile because there is so much water there so as you can see the amazing view here and there is a tree as you can see so beautiful without any leaves it looks like I'm watching a horror movie it's like a horror tree We'll be moving on to our next destination. There are two more places remaining to visit. So the next destination will be a viewpoint. It will be the last viewpoint we'll be visiting. And later we'll be going to one more waterfall area. It is not as big as this, however, it's quite a good scene. So we have reached to our final viewpoint. It's not our final destination, however, it's a, a final viewpoint. So as you can see, this place is covered with full of fog. All four sides are covered with fog. So it is not possible to predict how tall this viewpoint will be. However, the scenery are quite pretty and the air is so dense. The air is so dense here and it is a bit difficult to breathe too in this fog. And it's so cold too. <laughs> I didn't find much trees here. However, it looks like a flat ground. But it's quite pretty. And we are still walking. This is Mr. BP. As you can see. So we have finally reached at the top of this mountain's peak and the viewpoint. So this view is also pretty amazing but we weren't able to see anything much clearly because it's fully covered with fog and we don't know what is there behind the fog. 
and I also try to move it far to check what all are there but I was not planning to take any risk there might be some kind of pitfall also so that's why I didn't go further but it was really amazing it seems like this mountain is in between the clouds because we weren't able to see anything much as you can see the fog is clearing out and a bit visible and now we will be moving to our final destination the last place in Sakleshpura we are visiting so we will be visiting one more waterfall so it's nearby it's not as huge as the previous one but the scenery is quite beautiful so we have almost reached to our final destination so there are no much visitors here and some houses are here nearby looks like a resort and this is the scenery near to this waterfall so we'll be heading to the waterfall So earlier we thought that this might be the route to the waterfall but this is not. This was the way to the bridge, small bridge but this was not the way to the waterfall. The waterfall was the other side. We all got confused here but we were not confirmed that which way to go because there were so many people going this way so we also followed them like that we ended up here but this is also a quite good place to see So there it is. We need to go at the other side so that we can see properly the waterfall. The road is quite dirt so it was a bit difficult to walk on this wearing shoes but it's okay. We have reached 
reach near the waterfall the correct place so that we can see the waterfall perfectly however there was a landslide here that's why we wouldn't be able to go further it is a restricted area because sometimes we might get injured that's why so this is a small part of it as you can see this waterfall is not that big deal however these sceneries are pretty nice as you can see so this is the real part of this waterfall here it is as you can see this is the real part but we wouldn't be able to go further because there was a landslide here as you can see here still there are some people who have more power so this is our waterfall the main part of this waterfall so we were earlier standing at the other side now we are standing on the correct side of this waterfall and this place is also pretty amazing this also has a quite good view so our Sakleshpura tour has ended up here so I will be returning back to Bangalore to our home. This was our last destination in Sakleshpura. So I will be uploading more videos, more adventurous videos like this. So be in touch. Till then, tata, bye bye.